Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the DJ Roundtable tonight. As always, it is Tuesday night. It is 9 o'clock, or actually 8 o'clock. Do you know where your DJ's at? I know where I'm at. I'm here with you. I'm also joined today by DJ Michael James. Uh, Mike What's is, up, guys? Mike is in Central Illinois. He knows DJ Fire. Him and DJ Fire are friends and have worked together on a few things. Um, he has yes, his... Yeah. Uh, he has his own DJ service, and uh, you know he uh, works very hard in his area. So we'll be asking him some questions tonight about how he does things, how he handles things, because everybody looks at things differently, and that's what this is about. This is all about sharing ideas, information, and about sharing what we can do to make ourselves better. Um, one of the things so you guys know, uh, I had COVID this past uh, week. Um, I just started testing negative, but I'm still have a lot of, uh, after effects. So if you hear me sniffling, I'm still kind of clogged up. So I do apologize. I'm taking medication for it and stuff like that, you know, normal decongestants, but you know, it, it just, it is what it is. Um, I do apologize, but, uh, you know, being, uh, being sick was not fun. I still have, uh, I I got a little bit back in my smell and taste uh, a little bit more today than yesterday. I had probably 25% of my taste and smell, uh, which is actually nice because I can actually smell a few things. Not strong, but, you know, and that's what I got to do right now is have fun with a stuffed up nose. Almost like a, I'm still sick, but not sick. That makes sense. I'm glad you're doing better. Thank you. This uh, this whole entire thing with um, this virus has been a pain in the rear, to say the least. But again, I'm glad that I'm pretty much through it. Um, hopefully next week I'll be back to 100. percent Right now I'm at like 60 percent, and we'll go from there. Well, uh, at least you're through this. At least you're through this variant. You know, there'll be another one. There'll be another one after that. Another one after right. that. Right. Right. Like the flu, like any other cold. It is. Um, other than having chills and body aches uh, and hot flashes, it was like a normal cold. No, it, that was the only weird stuff. But um, with that said, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'll, do, I'll pop this out. Pop out. There we go. There we go. Now I can see you guys chatting. If you're in the audience, you want to chat, and ask questions to to us, please in the chat, ask all the questions you want. <coughs> oh, I got five o'clock traffic jam still on there. Ha ha ha! Oh, great. That's funny. <laughs> so let's let I gotta change that. See, COVID I'm not mine. seeing the chat on my man. side. COVID mine. I guess I'm not seeing the chat on my phone. If you go to Twitch and you go to my channel, you will see. Uh, I got you. I got you. So you can pull it up. Well, on I'm, con- I'm connected to you straight through Zoom. I don't have Twitch on my phone, so I'll have to do that at some Ah, point. so you got to get a tablet. That way you have a tablet on Zoom, your phone on Twitch, or on the computer. Because Zoom you can use on a computer. And... Multitasking, huh? I have two screens going. I have screen here well, and I have sure, a screen I, here. I so. figured you did. I figured you did. Yeah. I probably think I get normally, a screen. Normally, I'd be out in the living room on my laptop and then have my phone. So I'd monitor the laptop, you know, for the chat. And then I'd use my phone camera for the actual broadcast. But in this instance, uh, I decided to let the kids and wife do what they do. And I'll seclude myself to the West Wing. Under, understandable. Now, uh, explain a little bit about your DJ service, and I know your wife works with you, not in the same capacity my wife does, but she has right. capacity in your business. So explain a little bit about your business real quickly. Actually, she works with me a lot in the same ways that your wife does in the okay. sense that uh, if, if we aren't booked professionally, because my wife uh, is a DJ, is a photographer, so whether it's receptions or senior pictures or, or whatever, she's available to be booked for those events. 
And then we offer a package deal to get your DJ and your photographer in one bundle deal, which is super affordable. I mean, the, our pricing around here is probably a lot different from the bigger cities, but you know, for us, it's it's great money and we enjoy doing it. But when we are at events that my wife isn't booked at, she is much uh, uh, my coordinator. She's my she's my right hand. Um, when we do our introductions, I have her staging our wedding party. I have her cueing me. You know what I mean? As as people are coming through, so I can make my announcements and in the correct time and and order. If there's a last minute change, things on those lines. Um, she's really the catch all in the sense. Um, I mean, she'll entertain the kids. She'll she'll help out if somebody spills something. You know what I mean? She's gonna tell. We were at one wedding reception. She told she told the groom, "Hey, go enjoy your wedding, and I'll clean this up." You know, and he's up there mopping up a thing. Like this is wedding, man. You know what I mean? You go have a seat at your bridal party, and then we're gonna take care of this for you. And that's my wife at an event. You know what I mean? We're just we're we're all about celebrating the event that we're sharing with these families. You know, I mean, and that's and that's where we're at. So in a lot of ways, she when she's not booked as a photographer, she is my coordinator, you know, in, in every sense of the word. And I know you have a great relationship with your wife, too, and you guys just knock it out. I've read some of your reviews, buddy, and they're they're just amazing. You know, thank you. Thank you. And that's 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 solely because I, I can tell you it's, it's because of her and all the hard work she puts in. She's an amazing woman. And uh uh, this month, uh, the 20 seconds are 23 years together. So, um, oh, happy anniversary. Hey, yeah, if you need a DJ, years of buddy, if you need a DJ, I know a real good one. Uh, let's see here. Do I know a DJ or I think I know a DJ or two. Are you going to, are you, are you going to, are you going to renew your vow? Are you going to have a, a vow renewal party? No, or? no, no. We actually had a little party earlier this year, uh, for both our birthdays. And her graduating college with her uh, degree uh, in business management. So um, she has her uh, bachelor's. Uh, she got her associates and she got her bachelor's. So uh, I'm, I'm pushing to see if she can get her MBA or she wants to go for a doctorate. But she's like, no, you know, six, six years of college is a long time going part time, working a business, doing college and doing that. So we have a question. What are the lights that you guys like a lot? What lights are you talking about? Are you talk about up lights, dance lights. Are you talking about lighting far as a ring light? Are you what, what are you talking moving heads? What kind of lighting are you talking about? Well, that's kind I'm, of a, I'm assuming they're color. talking about an event. You know, they're talking about what lighting we like at events. And I think there's some lighting, uh, buddy, that we can both agree on. I think the rock wedges are gonna be real super choice. You know, it's a solid light. I mean, that's it's the most of affordable up light out there right now that is battery operated and wireless dmx i mean not that i'm trying to promote their products because i don't work for rockville but like i said for a 54 watt 3 by 18 i mean even the s4s and the uh, <laughs> the best the best pack 50s are 150 dollars a light and the rock wedges are like 109 so Bang for your buck yes, the the rock wedges are really good i i know uh DJ fire which can I know you're friends with him. Uh, DJ yes. Fire's been on here talk about stuff from Sheds. Uh, I know Sheds has a couple lights that he really is a big fan for. Um, I also like Chave. I have a lot of lights from Chave. And I think you got some lights from Chave, don't you, Mike? I did. Um, I wasn't super happy. I only had the line dancers, and I wasn't real happy with them. And I got rid of them for those Sheds uh, football lights, okay. you know, those spinning laser LED lights. But I just sold those off to try to make my setup a little more elegant where I'm going to run. Not I ain't running 25 lights on my truss anymore. I'm probably going to run about six. You know what I mean? And that's just me trying to trying to evolve, you know, from from my upbringing, that 90s, you know, 2000s, early 80s, big stage. You know, I see it. You know, I mean, I look at all my lights. I'm like, oh, it's amazing, you know, and then people on YouTube are like, Man, have you ever heard that's too much? You know, like when's enough enough? So I'm gonna try to dial it back a little bit as far as that goes. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. a real solid light, ADJ. You can't go wrong. Chave does have real good lights. Sheds. I mean, their pricing is a little higher, but 
but they have all the same lights that both lighting has or that Rockville has really, but I think Rockville is still the most affordable. You know, the other one too is uh, on, you on uh, YouTube. I was gonna say YouTube, uh, which by the way, you can watch this repeated on YouTube on my channel. Um, and you can follow us on our TBM Productions DJ1 on YouTube and watch this and rebroadcast there. If you're watching on YouTube, if you wanna watch it live, Go to Twitch, follow us on Twitch, TBM Productions underscore buddy on Twitch, and you can watch us live and be interactive. Um, I do like U King lights. I have two of the moving hats. It's like a hundred and like 90 bucks for two moving hats, and they're kind of similar to the ADJ Pocket Pros. They're very similar. Uh, I actually got turned on to them by Howie Darkstar. If you if you watch Dish Doctor News. Uh, TV and network. Uh, you've seen Howie Darkstar on there, you know, uh, Brian S. Rad and some of the other names on there. And I, I, I talked to him quite a bit. And Howie actually turned me on to those lights and said, Hey, have you seen these lights? They're cheap. They're good. You can program them under DMX. Well, and I've used them on a couple uh, weddings. And they really do have a nice look. Now, are they the most powerful light? No, they're 25 watt LED. They're not going to have a you know a huge drone throw across uh, a brightly sun drenched room, but they're going to give a nice ambiance. Um, oh, here's DJ Fire. They're going to give a nice ambiance and give a nice look to the event. So again, the U Kings is a great light. There he is. U Kings is a great light to look at as well. And again, talk about sheds. Here's the man from sheds right there. Uh, when he connects his audio, <laughs> buddy. On that note, on that note, if we're talking about the U King lights and segways, if you look at my channel, DJ Mike James, I did a U King light on the seventy watt moving head gobies with the color rings, and I love those lights. I mean, they're fantastic. Check that video out because, dude, I've got seven, like almost seventy seven hundred views on that video right now, and I only. Have couple hundred subscribers that's pretty impressive i mean it's a really good light and like i said for the price of one of those giant moving heads you could have got all four of those lights that i have so if you get a chance to look that video out i mean it's 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 a good light and i i won't if you know if one of them breaks down i'll buy more i i, I bought uh for my top package two white chave moving heads and I paid eleven hundred dollars each, and now I see the ones from U King. They have white ones, similar to the three sixties I got from Chave, and they're way cheaper. But the one thing with that is, I know Chave's quality, and I know what I get with it. So it's yeah. Is there is there other other brands you can look at? Yes. Uh, and again, I know uh, Nathan there, DJ Fire. He has. A few brands that he works with a lot and he enjoys um and he has some great videos out there of product reviews and if you guys have not been following either dj fire on youtube or mike james or dj fire's other channel uh nathan three with the 347 or 345 343 i'm sorry 343 hey, um if you're not That's following those, those, that, those those channels go Just woke up to youtube Go over to YouTube and follow those channels because a lot of great product reviews for stuff, even stuff you need to think about. Both of them give great product reviews and a lot of information there. So it is a great thing to look at. And if you're looking for lights, if you have questions about lights, you know, that's that's one of the ways you can look at. You can look at how they feel about the lights. Again, it's their opinion. They're using the light. They're saying, okay, this is a light. The light works well or looks looks great, looks bad. And they're trying to, you know, see, they give their opinion on the light. It's like anything else, you know, um, you, you need to do your own research, but also you need to look at and go, okay, fine, great. Uh, how can you better yourself and how can you do stuff? Lighting is a very important thing. If you don't have enough lighting, the room looks horrible. If you have too much lighting, it's overburdened and it's wa everything's washed out. And you don't want a washed out room. Like, the last wedding, I, I, Mike, I was showing you pictures of, and I know I sent some uh, pictures to DJ Fire, to Nathan, uh, of a wedding I did um, uh, a week and a half ago. Um, 
And I didn't have any dance lights per se. I used the up lights as dance lights because it's a private country club and I wanted a more elegant look. So we uplit the room, uplit around the room, uh, give a nice look to it. Uh, one of the colors was a powder blue. We did a powder blue look. We had our white set up. And I'm putting together the video I got put the I show hopefully now I'm feeling better with uh not you know burdened with COVID like I was. <laughs> um I'm hoping that I should get a video up of uh, that gig log up hopefully maybe this week. But and maybe, it's an e and it's an easier setup. You know what I mean? It's less to bring in, no trussing, no overhead lighting, you're not flying anything. I mean yeah, I mean, I'm looking at getting more elegant as far as my setup as it, well. It, it, it was very impactful. And I thank two people for that look. There's two people I have to say I thank very much. Uh, DJ Mikey Mike, Mike Lucy, which is a California yeah, DJ. He's, he's following me on YouTube, actually. Yeah, I know I know him. I've talked to him plenty of times. We were actually talking the night before the wedding um, uh, in, in the chill room. And then the other person I got to thank is Brian S. Red, because Brian S. Red has showed us on his videos and talked about this plenty of times, how that looks. And it is, for certain events, it has a very elegant look. And it has a very nice look. And I think it it pulls a, doesn't pull away from the room. It adds to the room. It adds to the look of the room. and adds to the look of what's going on. Uh, I took some heat. I took some heat in the comments on my my first video that ever posted my sweet sixteen at the hour memory lane, which was actually an awesome setup. I mean, I was I was full blown. I mean, pedal to the metal, and you know that's where I took some of the heat about, hey, is uh, too much, too much. And I responded by saying, you know what? I mean, I get with my clients before every event, and I, and I identify how they want their event to play out. And this particular event wanted it to be more of a nightclub thing for their kids, their, their twin girls, sweet 16, you know? And that's when I was like, I think I'm going to get a little more elegant for some of the weddings as far as up lighting and maybe moving heads and really cut down the sheer number of lights that I'm bringing. Cause one, it cuts down my setup time. It cuts down, uh, you, you know, my tear down and all that and how much equipment I actually have to bring with me. So I think it's a win-win, you know? I mean, I kind of like that, this, the, the less is more approach at this point. And that, that's, you know, if we go into speakers and we talk about speakers, that, that's one of the reasons why I like the column arrays or line arrays, you know, like Bose calls it line array. A lot of manufacturers call themselves line arrays. Um, I really do like those arrays because they're very simple and easy to put up. They're very- And they're effective. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're very effective. Very good sound. Yes. But again, having the right tool for the right job. Would I take a line array and use it for a 500 person wedding? Or you couldn't. Event? You could. You'll smoke them. You'll well, no, smoke, you won't them. smoke them. You could. It could cover pretty well, but it won't give you that depth of sound and throw of sound. So that right there, that's when you get your regular normal tops, your normal uh, cabinets. So you did the right tool for the right job. There's It's. it's it's kind of like, you know, you have many tools in your toolbox. You're not trying to use a screwdriver to, to knock a, a nail into a into, uh, two by four. You know, or trying to screw by hand that screw into a two by four. You're going to use a drill. You're going to pre-drill. You're going to run the, the screw in there and use a drill. So it's it's stuff like in that. You want room. to make sure you use the right tool and having multiple tools in your toolbox is not a bad thing. Right. So, DJ Fire, what's new excitement with you, sir? Uh, I just woke up from a nap. I was tired. Oh, I, I bet you are. Uh, if you guys don't know, DJ Fire also has a landscaping business. So he has his bunch of YouTube channels. He has his DJ service. <laughs> he has his landscape business. And the man is, he burns a candle. <coughs> and I can't say both ends. I say both ends in the middle. He's always running around. He's very, All very busy. And, uh, Mike, I know you're very busy too. And I, I appreciate both you guys coming and taking some time out tonight and spending uh, here your Tuesday night here in a DJ round table. And it's greatly appreciated. Um, Thanks for having me. Oh, well, thank you. And, you know, it's, it's one of the things that the great nice thing about with, you know, this stuff that we're talking about, it is very important that we, Tell everyone that 
this is what we feel is best works for us. What works for you may be a little bit different. And if you have something that works better, you or you feel works better, send me a, information, send me, you know, send me a DM and ask. The keyword, it, and has, it has to work. It has to work then. Yeah. And right. it has, you know, we want it to look nice, we want it to work right. But the thing, if you have a better way of doing something, I'm always out for learning. And that's what the DJ Roundtable is about. It's about, you know, sharing what we know, our experiences, what we're doing, but also learning too. Because if someone has, hey, you know what? I do stuff this way or I do stuff that way. No one says that the one way is the right way. It could be any way you look at it. And it's, you know, knowing more than one way you're doing something, it's not a bad thing. It's a great thing. If you did it right, you've been learning it over the past several years anyway. You know what I mean? Life teaches you what is and isn't acceptable. You know, I mean, at least it should. And again, there's no perfect anything. But the thing is that you, no. you do what works right. You do what's best for the customer. Because ultimately, our customers are, you know, our customers are the boss. Our customers are paying us for services. They're wanting a certain ambiance for that night. They want a certain look for the night. They want a certain feel for the night. And, you know, when, when, when like Nathan shows up with his light rig, or if Mike shows up with his light rig, or I show up my light rig, and I set it up for that customer, there, there. Right, there you go. You know, the trust and stuff like that. I get, I get jealous of your trust, though. <laughs> I do like your trust. I do like to trust. There's no, you got, tr there's you no got trust in me, buddy. There's oh, no, no. Uh, there's no curtain up back there right now because I'm in the process of getting a new backdrop. We had to move my studio into where my edi editing room is. So Mike's been here the last couple of days. Well, not the last couple of days. Yesterday we filmed some stuff, and I don't know if you can see on the table, but that package, that package, that package just came in today for review. I hadn't even opened them yet. So. And I've still got and like what, four what others your, I'm still working on. Can you can you give well, uh, no, a big, big, big shout out? Big shout out to three four three productions, man, for helping me on my videos. It's it's a ton of help and and I wouldn't be where I am without that studio. So and uh Nathan, can you give a quick sneak peek of what you're gonna be reviewing? Do you wanna share with people what the, the reviews are? Not to sure. do a review, but what you're gonna review. All right, so one of them is this oh desktops okay it's uh yeah it's basically for streaming i have a streaming company contact me so there's that okay uh, if you haven't noticed i've been starting to i'm uh, working for a company called blue rams and they're wanting me to review a bunch of their security cameras so we have a you can kind of see it right there in the picture but we have another and Security that is an important thing. As a DJ, we have expensive equipment. So we, got that. we don't have cheap stuff. And that, hold on one second, Nathan. That right there, those security cameras. And I know I saw for a um, a security doorbell. That stuff right there, security doorbell, security cameras. I feel that is an important thing, and that is something that DJs should look at and have at least a camera somewhere. If you store your equipment, like in your garage, near your garage, in your house, there's nothing wrong whatsoever having a camera outside to make sure if a bad person knows that you are you have some stuff in there and they want it, you may be able to capture them and get the information over law enforcement, and that way it helps the police or sheriff's department or state police, or whomever the agency is, to go after those people and prosecute them. Because we want the bad people who grab our product we work very hard for prosecuted. I know I want that. I think Mike would probably want that. I know Nathan would want that. Someone did something. Or buddy, someone. You, buddy, you know you're not getting that restitution money. <laughs> I don't care about the restitution money. I want to see the person go to jail and be pro fully prosecuted. That's what I look at. I got, I got, I'm just messing with you, but I got you. I got you. Yeah, rest, you know, restitution. They're going to file I, bankruptcy. They're going to file bankruptcy after the decision anyway, and you'll never see a dime of it. But, I you know, know. I it know. is what it is. At least they got caught. Yeah. It, it looks like a It's like that Jim Carrey movie, Liar, Liar, you know. That's right. 
pair of headphones now too. Yeah. So yeah, we've got a pair. You of want me to do about it? Nothing. I've reviewed for this company before. This is their brand new. This doesn't release until. Uh, let me look at the email real quick. I was just getting ready to email them back and let them because this package should have been here uh, over ten days ago and it got held up somewhere. Uh, this is going to be releasing August twenty sixth. Oh, so this hasn't even hit the market yet. So I, I'm the <laughs> first one to get a try. So, and then this. I've had this for probably three weeks, and I still haven't got the video out. This is the uh, GKU D800. It is a – whoops, I got the box upside down. Basically, it's a rearview mirror that's a screen, and then it ah. comes with little backup cameras that go on your window. It's got a GPS unit. It's got a – all kinds of dash camera thing. It's got GPS cool. hub, so you can connect it to GPS, find out where your vehicle is at all times. That is. So cool. I've got to get that done sometime here this week. Yeah, they actually just messaged me today and asked me how the video is going. So I'm not gonna I, lie. I, I well, even this is a question I have to ask. <laughs> how long is the cable for the camera? The what camera? The, the camera for the the back camera. How long I have no game? idea. It's all well. Let's see. That's the. Oops. Does it say how many meters it is? Uh, this one's for the back here. window. Oh, looks like you have quite a bit. I haven't really went through it. I just did the unboxing part of it. Actually, I haven't really went through it. But I mean, it's got. I don't know if you can tell. Quite a bit of cable there. Because that right see. there. This is, uh, my sprinter, I don't have back windows, and the rear rear camera, the reverse camera, only works when you turn in reverse. If you're driving down the street, I can't see what's going on behind me. And this is for a pickup truck. So for your back window, you see this little sticky thing that flips up, so you can flush mount it up against your back, you know, solid window on a pickup truck. And then you just run your cable, but that's got a power wire, it looks like, coming out of it. So I probably had to run some sort of power to it, would be my guess. Um, and then it's got a long cable that's probably 25 feet long, I would say, that goes to, I mean, it just keeps going and going. And then it goes into like a little 3.5 millimeter jack. Plug. Headphone and, jack. That, yep. and then that plugs into. The top part of this here and then of course all of this is powered by a 12 volt plug which runs off of a micro usb type c port it also comes with screen protectors and all that cool stuff so i'm hopefully going to get this installed this week i think uh this mike week. might uh, be looking at that for his uh his van that may be a nice thing that for your van especially uh, again loading into a uh sometimes in the places and the venues we load in and out of uh, i know nathan you have a trailer um and we we all run into those places the, the nice thing with the sprinter it does have a backup camera put in reverse nice clear camera it is a uh, high definition so it's nice and clear but i when i'm driving down the road i just, i look at my side mirrors i don't have any back windows so the thing is they have a, a camera back there just looking always back on looking back that would be awesome so this I got too. This is a solar powered bank. So this would be good for laptops, you know, even DJs. I have two uh, another company ceremonies. Sent me on. ceremonies. Yeah. And is how he is Nathan are... is Nathan doing product reviews? <laughs> <laughs> but this this is all you get all uses stuff for DJ stuff. <laughs> and that's the thing. You're using the ceremony. Howie Dark Star is what we call it a Howie box which is a battery operated box. You only build a couple of them and he could do a whole ceremony, run a, whole, a little mini system off of these battery packs. And it was awesome. And I see guys try to re, re, uh, redo that with modern stuff. And they, they get these battery, huge battery packs or they run generators. That little pack right there, you can easily run a tablet and maybe a small little mini controller that's USB powered. And all you gotta do is have a battery operated speaker 
and you could do a ceremony. Hey, buddy, did you happen to see me and Mike's uh, video we did for the waterproof lighting? No, I have not yet. Okay. I'm still catching up in videos. Remember, I've been sick this whole entire I'm still not 100%. I've been sick right. for the past, you know, week. Hey, so. Nathan, Nathan, buddy wasn't even subscribed to my channel, so. Wow. I was subscribed to your channel. I, I know. know how, I know. But I was unsubscribed. He, he, had to, he had to do it today and then, you know, like act like, he, you know, it wasn't intentional. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just oh, messing with that way. It's cool. Hey, I just subscribed to all of your stuff too, man. So I appreciate I'm, it. I'm on there. I'm liking your stuff, checking out your Facebook pages. And you know what I like about your Facebook page, buddy, is that uh, there's no real setups of you really like exploiting yourself. It's all about your venue. It's all about your your bridal party. It's you know what I mean. I I, I, I respect that. You know that's something that I would do. You know and and what I do do, sometimes I do post some video of my setup or whatever on my YouTube channel, but on my Facebook page, I like to do the same thing and keep it super elegant like that. And in the, Because the I feel like I it's not at... my experience to share, you know what I mean? Like, like it's not my wedding. It's, I mean, I'm working the wedding, so, so I feel weird about, like, when I post stuff. And my wife, too, is a photographer. Like uh, posting other people's memories on our Facebook pages, it just seems weird to us. You know what I mean? Well, again, you're 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 capturing those moments. You're sharing with other uh, perspective perspective clients, but also you're hashtagging those yes. uh, images. Those images that you capture are going to go back to that couple, and they can see those images, which is great and awesome. But we well, always look can... at our social media as ways of showing off and showcasing those great people that hired us and that we are background players. And I, I, I equate this to like a plumber or electrician or a carpenter. If I hire you to fix my sink as a plumber or uh, I had an electrician replace my ceiling fan here uh, about a year ago, a great electrician. Right. I didn't ask him to show me pictures of his tools. Show me oh, the inside no, your van. Buddy. What kind of plumber you hire? I'm not going to be asking plumbers, you know, what 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 tools you have. When I see tools, I talk tools. about tools. Yeah, I'm a guy, but it, it's not like you know I have to hire someone based on the tools they have. So it's it's kind of the same thing. Do I right. do I show pictures of our setups? Yes, here and there, especially unique setups. I will share stuff. I will put stuff on Google Maps and stuff like that, and share those images, but. You know, again, our Facebook, Instagram, it's usually about the couple and about the event and about the emotional right. attachment to the wedding. And our stuff is secondary to all of them. We're background players. Legitimate. Well, yeah. I know, we're, our, 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 I know. Our, our function is secondary to all of them. I know on my this, YouTube uh, channel is different. You know what I mean? That's about me. So. Go ahead, Nathan. I know. Um, Go ahead, Nathan. Like I'm sorry. People, no, you're fine. Like when I post pictures on my DJ Fire channel or, or Facebook page, um, I post some during the wedding. You know, post them having fun, dancing. But I also post my setup because not every single event that I've done has had the exact same setup. There may be something a little different. There may be. Um, just you know i mean just the way it was set up like i i used i mean over just in the last year i think i've switched trussing twice i started out with that well three times if you count the pro x one well true yeah <laughs> i had that one that mike had to start off with then i've got the one the triangle one which is at our lawn care shop in the loft i haven't decided what i'm doing with it yet now i've got this knockoff version of global trussing which is the exact same thing as global trust i'm sure it's all made in the exact same warehouse but um cedar's link is quality man i'm telling you i would not i would not snuff that company they are actually really good the only the only thing that i haven't and i've got new base plates now finally i have uh, 20 by 20 base plates and the one thing i will say um, from global the base plates the base plates i have from rockville versus the ones i have from 
Um, Cedar's Link, the Rockville ones are heavier than the Cedar's Link ones are. But according to Cedar's Link's deal, these are supposed to be heavier than the Rockville ones. So I don't, I don't know what, uh, you know, I mean, they're nice and everything, but they're just, they're lightweight. I mean, I don't know if, if weight is a big factor in having good, I mean, that's I one thing I've more, I think it's more of the footprint and some weight. And if you really feel they're lightweight, you can always get some sandbags, put some sandbags down. If you feel I mean, I've, I've hooked it all up and tried to push the totem over, and it won't tip. I mean, it'll tip if I really go poof. But well, I mean, yeah. Weigh it back and forth, it won't tip. Yeah, if you if you're you're trying to tackle like you know a linebacker, then you know. But yeah, it, it's, it's, it's it's one of the things that like said before, you know, taking in, information and technology and stuff that you review, uh, <laughs> and you know stuff that as a DJ, you know, you can look at stuff and, and you take that stuff and you use it again. I, I'm blessed by the fact that I get to talk to some really cool people. You know, I get to talk to Brian S. Rad. I get to talk to Howie Darkstar. I can go down a list of these, of these, these very famous DJs and listening to them and talk and talk, listen to how they uh, problem solve. It is a wealth of knowledge and having some of that knowledge it ha has helped me out tremendously. And again, I had to thank them uh, for a lot of the stuff I've changed. I have changed some stuff over the past year or two. Uh, after talking to them and stuff like that, and it's helped me grow, and that's that's the great thing with knowing people, and you you include them, and I I call them friends because they are friends, they are great people. And if, if I see them in person, I'm gonna give them a big hug, pat them in the back, and say, hey, how you doing, bro? Um, and you know, and you know, again, it, it's it's got great respect that I would do that, but it's one of the things. <laughs> You know, learning that stuff, understanding what is transpiring, what is going on, what's happening, and taking that knowledge and putting it into use, I feel is very important. That's why I feel that, like, Nathan, your reviews, even though you may not be reviewing a DJ product, some of those products can be used in the DJ world and problem solved. Again, I go back to, to Howie, the Howie Box. You can go to his, his YouTube channel and watch his Howie Box stuff. He saw a problem. He solved it. And again, people will try to copy that and try to, it's not the same. Howie Box is up here and people are still down here, still down, like muddling down in the ground. And he's way up here with the technology because he did it right. And when you see stuff like that, that is awesome stuff. And it's, I wish you would, when went in the business and made a bunch of them and made a bunch of money, but unfortunately, you know, um, wasn't in the cards. But it, it's, 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 when you talk to people, you, you expand your knowledge base and stuff. Those little battery packs and stuff like that, that knowledge and listening to them talk about how to problem solve, that is great stuff. And that's how we as DJs can grow and take things and make it to the DJ world. Again, taking that battery pack, using it for a ceremony, using it for a tablet, using it for a small controller, using it for, you know, maybe you could power a, uh, you know, a microphone system. Stuff like that, or uh, a couple other things, you know, you can do is maybe a, you can power a USB powered up light of some kind. You know, that kind of stuff is another thing you can do. But what you do with anything you look at, again, is to help us grow and become better and better at craft. That's what the, this that's what this show is all about, is bettering our craft to make us better DJs and make us not only more marketable, but also help our customers out. Because we want to make sure we take care of our customers. Our right. customers are not only the reason why we're in business, but and then you know they pay us our money, but they are the our goal is to satisfy them and take care of them. Well, buddy, you know this as a rule, just like I do. You do something well, two or three people might hear about it. You do something horrible, twenty or thirty people are going to hear about it. This is very true. Bad news spreads faster than good news. It just yes, it does. the way life is. People are when they that's, get mad at something. That's the news. That that's the Starbucks. media. That's that's all of it. I mean, if you start doing stuff, that's you know, I mean, it, it travels way faster than anything you ever did good. You know. Yeah. So always try to keep your feedback good because we're here for our customers, our clients, our our bridal parties, our. Our birthday parties are, are, you know, I mean, whether it be the bar, the nightclub, the retirement party, which I've done. I mean, I've done so many different events that 
I mean, and, and as long as you're humble and you're willing to to work with people, I mean, I'm telling you, it it doesn't take much to to you know to really dominate in the sense that kill them with kindness and customer service. And I know you're a big fan of that, and that's our respect talking to you and 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 when we talk it i feel like it's on a you know it's on a level that that we understand each other the years we've been <laughs> doing stuff and and just you know and just making it this long is is really a, you know an, an an attribute to to we're doing something right you know it, well it's also showing respect to a fellow dj you know a lot of djs i don't know why for whatever reason they have this chip on their shoulder they have this id in their head that they're a DJ and that and it's about them. they're territorial or they get upset because you're another DJ. I don't want to talk to you. I'm better than you are. I'm better. There's ways of saying, Hey, you know what? I do something better than you in this area, but I don't do as well in that area. I want to learn from you and I could maybe teach you how to do this better. Build bridges because I could tell you right now, last week, Thursday, I was full and deep in COVID. Um, I had weddings actually scheduled Thursday. And I, I couldn't do that. it. I had to have another DJ step in and do it. A friend of mine, great guy, you know, we we're able to share information. I got, got him information, got him stuff. Tracy was actually uh, talking to him, uh, giving some more information. So he had all the information for the wedding. He knocked out of the park, did a fantastic job. Well, that's because I build bridges with him, and he's a great guy. Jason, uh, uh, Jason's a, a great DJ, and having him as an ally, I feel is a great thing. Having that circle of friends, you know, again, you have Nathan, which is great. If something happens, or I need a hand, hey, Nathan, you mind give me an extra hand? You know, Nathan doesn't mind doing it. There that, you go. There, there, <laughs> see, there you go. But <laughs> it's having a circle of friends, and that's that's the, the the DJ round table is about, you know, it's friendship, it's learning, it's, 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 it's sharing information. It's sharing what we do, making our craft better, making us better as DJs. Um, and just rethinking some things and saying, Hey, uh, you know, this person does it this way. I've been doing it that way. Am I doing the wrong way or is it a better way of doing it this way? Hmm. And again, you have to look back and say, you know, reevaluate and go, Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe maybe looking at it this way is different, you know? Okay, hey, you know what? That made me think this way. And that's the important stuff is learning by not only our mistakes, but also learning from others and asking others questions. You know, when Nathan does all the reviews, and I know you have tons of reviews on the 343 channel, um and a bunch of different products, everything from you know a, from pumps to everything, DJ equipment to everything. And on your DJ channel, you've done different DJ equipment. What do you mean pumps? Well, you run pump. You had a uh, gas powered pump. There you go, right there. You wanna you wanna know something that's gonna be crazy is I, I bought an adapter for this, so it goes from two inch down to garden hose. We really go. gonna blow some water around. We're really gonna pump some water. <laughs> well, yeah, you're gonna have some pressure in there. You don't want to display a garden hose though. Uh, you know, uh, uh, that, might be, that might be cool for a video. What what not to do to split a garden hose open? <laughs> <laughs> Destroying garden hoses uh, that that right there. Hey, you, again, you want to do that in your review channel. But it's one of the things, like I said before, reviewing stuff and, and expanding what we do. And again, following that stuff and looking at stuff, you know, will a DJ ever use a pump? Maybe. Maybe there's some reason why if you're, DJ, if you're dj and you get 12 inches of rain in an hour you might yeah. well then 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 unfortunately you have bigger fish to fry and hopefully you're out of the area and you have your you're safe your friends your family are safe and then you know the guests are safe but you know we had uh, about an hour from here about 45 minutes really they had 12 inches of rain in just a couple hours or well, indiana uh, no, in Newton and Albany, Illinois. Oh, okay, east, west of you. Uh, south, south of, of us, south of southwest. Us, Pretty much straight south. Oh wow, really? Yeah. And then it's St. South Louis, of it, straight south. St. Louis got a bunch of rain. We're supposed to get more rain tomorrow too. So, 
We got talking, three and a quarter. Talking, you're, you're talking rain up here in Chicagoland. It's supposed to get 90, I want to say 92 tomorrow, and then afternoon thunderstorms. So, yeah. They're, they're talking 107 here tomorrow, but we got three, three and a quarter inches of rain today. Well, not so bad. The farmers need it. You know, my grass needs it. So make sure you're sensing that rain up here. I was uh, wading through the garden today with big muck boots trying to pick green beans because that's the only way to get to them. And then my, I my saw boots your green getting... beans on your channel. I saw your green beans. I saw your cherry tomatoes. I saw your tomato plants. I'm like, oh, so man, they... the guy's got it growing. Well, <laughs> you know, you one of the things I, I want to talk about is um, we're going to wrap up on this one is do you have a emergency plan if something happens at a venue let's say you have a flood or if you have a uh, fire or you have a medical emergency not just you there you go not just you but anyone there you know someone has you know, a heart attack or something like that do you have a action plan what to do and how to do it if something happens are you talking about DJ related, like, or can it be like someone passing? You're out DJing. Party? You're DJing a wedding. You're DJing a party. You're DJing a bar. You're DJing whatever, and all of a sudden, a flash flood hits. The bar starts filling with water. Lefties holler in Charleston. <laughs> well, we're not mentioning names. We're not, we, we don't. We don't want. We don't want you no know, mention names. I'm just giving a scenario. You can put in whatever bar it is. It could be. It, it could be Nathan's Bar and Grill. Maybe Mike James Barn Grill, whatever you want to call it, that's fine. There's no real names. But if you had, let's well, say, buddy, there, depending on the event that's occurring, um, you know, I mean, mad respect to your wife. I hope she goes and gets her MBA. That's amazing. Like I said, I got my associates, my bachelor's, and I worked on my graduate degree in, at Texas State in San Marcos. And at that time, I was working for Child Protective Services. And uh, the city of Dripping Springs as their aquatics director. So, if there's any medical type of emergency, I can absolutely do first aid and and first response and and handle scenarios because that's kind of what I'm trained to do. As far as weather emergencies, I mean, as DJs, I mean, what's the most important thing is saving lives. The second most important thing is probably trying to get equipment picked up you know i mean I, I i don't know you know what i mean my all my lighting's on trussing so i don't have to worry about that it have to be a pretty big wave to come in and take my truss out you know but uh you know i mean it just it, it would really depend on the scenario you know and like what was actually happening but i feel like i'd be prepared to help assist or even direct with any rescue efforts or anything like that but i mean mm -hmm. it seems kind of far past for what we do you know I'm 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 CPR certified and first aid certified, so I, I I'm have CPR certified. Yeah, I I have that stuff too. So it's it's one of the things that something happens, you know. I do know a lot of steps to take care of stuff, you know. But it, it's so you know, if it floods, if it floods, I'm a lifeguard instructor trainer, you know. So I might be the best person to have there if it does flood. You know, well, hopefully, hopefully you're shutting down power and you're moving stuff higher. And that lets yes, stuff well, I mean, that's going to be that's going to be, you know, I mean, that's not paramount, though. My gear is secondary to lives, you know, shutting down power so no one gets electric gear. That's that's a big thing. I And I know in um, eastern Kentucky, they've had this tragedy with the flooding uh, and people. Have unfortunately yes, lost we, their lives. we were watching Nathan follows a guy on YouTube and he was out there helping people and. And I was super impressed with that guy. I mean, yeah, and that's just, you just hope that doesn't happen to you because what are you really going to do, buddy? You know what I mean? Like, well, circumstance, you, you need circumstance to protect yourself, you protect your family. Right. You know, if you're at an event, something like that happens, you need to, you know, try and, again, protect yourself first. Protect as many people as you can. Try and you help know, people I mean, out, you know, move the elderly, move the sick, move the young, you know, children women you know anyone who is you know who's frail try and get them you know safe you know those those are so the important if, things if you guys well, want some really awesome footage 
and someone that, you know, there, there are certain things that I watch on YouTube that, you know, I enjoy helping people. That's why I'm in the lawn care business. That's why I've done all the things I've done. Everyone said, you know, why, why, if you could tell one reason why you decided to do lawn care, why do you think you're doing it? I, I say, well, I have two reasons for one, God put me on this planet to take care of his creations and two, because I enjoy making people's pe property look better. Um, and then I, I came across, you know, w when we had those tornadoes here uh, back in December, I was just typing up stuff about tornadoes. Well, this guy that lives in Kentucky called, his name's Ryan, and his YouTube channel name is Ryan Hall, y'all. He's a, he's a YouTube meteorologist. Yeah, I know. I, I follow Ryan Hall. He wanted to help all those people in Kentucky. Well, he asked people to buy things from him they made a sticker on there that you could set to be any they raised over fifty thousand dollars to go help people down there and right hall is he, he uh, right hall y'all he's in kentucky isn't he yeah, i don't know i believe so yeah yeah i think he's in kentucky too hopefully he's not affected because i've not seen anything well i, 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 I got the feeling that, that last bit. video he posted was like in his backyard you know yeah well, this is, you know, this is what he had posted. I just have to say, wow. After yesterday's video, we raised over $50,000 for the Y'all Fund. Vince, Brandon, and I are going to go back to southeastern Kentucky tomorrow with as many people and resources as possible to help those flood victims like they never thought they'd ever be helped. You are changing lives. Thank you so much, Y'all Squad. You don't know how much this means to the community down here. So many people are going to be positively impacted by your contributions. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, more rain is on the way to many people. Who I mean, it was just nuts. They went in and spent, I mean, to their local Walmart and spent, uh, I mean, food, clothes. They, they got 25,000 bottles of Gatorade, 12,000 bottles of water, which is, it would be kind of weird they're buying water for people that are having problems because of water <laughs> you know well, not, not drinkable water and that's the thing you well know, true you know. and you, this is the thing i think as, as a business owner if you can help out you have the financial means to help out someone via a, a charity uh again ryan hall or someone else if you can you have a few bucks you're like hey you know what as a business owner, I can give back to a community and help someone out. Even if you never know who I am, they would not know, hey, Buddy Mueller from TBM Productions, you know, helped out, or Nathan from DJ Fires, uh, DJ Service, or Mike from <laughs> DJ Mike James, uh, DJ Service. They don't know who we are. I, I, I don't want to be known. I just want to give the extra helping hand, give a hand up. And, you know, if, if it's given five bucks or 10 bucks, or twenty bucks, whatever I can afford. There, right there to me is a is a big thing, right? You know, and that, that's, that's, that's one of the ways as a business owner I feel we could all help anyone, any charity. You can pick any charity you want, any cause. And if you feel you you got extra few extra bucks and you want to help a charity, donate. Yeah, I thought about running a, like a, a charity thing and, and get people to send money and then transfer it to Ryan Hall to go down there and help those people. But I don't know how hard it would be to get in contact with Ryan Hall. I'm well, telling you, that, I know he's on also, Twitter, you're, but it's also your you you have money and you don't want to you know it, it to be missed or anything like that. Just going directly or pointing people to Ryan Hall's charity. Right. Let him worry about get the link out. You know, you can share the link with friends and family. Hey guys. Want to let you know on your channel, this is what's going on in Kentucky. Uh, if you get a chance to donate to the you know, Ryan Hall Y'all Fund, it's going to help people in eastern Kentucky who are impacted by the floods right now. You know, you can go to Ryan Hall Y'all on YouTube or on his uh, Instagram or Twitter. Follow him there. There's more information there. And let let him deal with it. And this, you can say, hey, you know, I donated, you know, $20 for, for the cause. And that way, you know, you have your, you have, you put your name to the paper and you're helping hopefully someone out. Twenty bucks buys what? At, at, at least a case of water. Uh, and, right, you can buy a case of water for like ten bucks, can't you, or less? I'm just saying, you know, it, it, I'm sure it, it's more a expensive. Case there, of water, a case of water, a case of water is like three dollars. Oh, is it? 
Well, yeah, if you go to Walmart and buy a case of water, it's like three bucks. No, so $10 water, buys man. like, you know, three cases of water. But there you go. that's neither here nor there. I mean, I get, you know, the rescue side of it and, and all of that. But, I mean, how is this kind of related to what, like, what we do, I guess? Because, I mean, I don't, I don't deal with natural disasters at my events. That's, that's hopefully, DJ not, hopefully not, but we have to be prepared <laughs> for... If you're in for like Mike, and somewhere, and there's a tornado that just, I mean, storm. No, I get it. I get it. Yeah. But, but uh, I mean, it I'm seems not like we got a bad topic. I'm Rain? not going to be worried about my equipment. I'm going to be making sure everyone's in somewhere safe. I mean, that's what insurance is for. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, with that said, <laughs> we, we've gone through an hour. Buddy, right, I, I want to oh, talk wow. to you. I mean, we, we talked earlier. We were talking about some lighting, and we were talking about uh, we were talking about batteries. And uh, like I said, I, I mean, you're going to help me out with the battery for one of my lights. But we were talking about the cost of those batteries and just, uh, you know, just how ridiculous, uh, you know, some of the uh, battery operated lighting power batteries are and i and i think that's crazy you know what i mean that you you could literally buy a new light for the cost of a single battery the batteries for um for chave were three hundred and twelve dollars and twenty cents for a battery for a light that costs three hundred and sixty bucks that's insane Please. That's an so, and, and DJ forum. That's insane to me. That that just is crazy. They, they can charge where they want to charge. Again, they're trying to force you to buy a new light. And versus, you know, it, it's a, it's a pack of batteries that plugs in. This is this is this is a Rockville Rockville Wedge battery pack. I, I, I need one. I need one of those batteries, buddy. I need I know. one. <laughs> this, this has your name on. This is gonna be going out. But um, these here are the. I don't know if these are U King. These are basically a rock wedge. Um, I don't know. It says this name on the side of it, but it's not U King. That but looks it's, more it's like a shot. A. It's the front end. Uh, but it's power U -King, con. But it's, U King is making one, but they're power con. No, this is power con right there. Power con in and out. So I don't. Yeah, look to the, That's I not look a bad thing. King power con in and out. Not a bad thing. But, no, no, but. Almost all of my lightings I see. Same here. Do you well, know what I mean? So to switch power to like con stuff, you know, power con is power con. It's not a bad thing. Well, to switch I, uh... to you know to switch to one other fixture to be power con when all of my other dry is just like ah, oh, what a pain, you know. That's what they decided ordered... to do. I just ordered. We may not have a choice coming up soon, you know. It might not be PowerCon. Is that a shed? Just, it's a shed, yes, but I just ordered four both lighting. Um, and then I'm getting ready to buy a charge case from Rick, Rick Webb. I don't know if I'm going to go for an eight unit um, case or a 12. He told me the 12s were. Yes, go for the 12. Heavy. You know, you're going, you're going to shop till you drop. Well, I figured, go you bigger, know, go home. I'm going to end up having yeah, really. these. I'm going to end up having two of these. Why, why do <laughs> I want to have four of these in a bag and eight eight of them in a case? Why why won't I just get a 12-pack case? That's know? the way you want to do it. Do a 12-pack. Make life easier. You know, I mean, if I've got a big gig and I need hey, help picking it buddy, up, I'm going to be honest, honest. That's how I do it, man, by the 12-pack. Yeah. Because I'm eventually going to have 12. Rick keeps trying. He's like, oh, and they're bulky. And I'm like, man, you just need to work out more or something. Like, pump some iron, man. I picked up some heavy stuff in my days. Oh. Well, but, yeah, I just ordered those. They were on eBay. Uh, both Lighting has an eBay page you can buy through. Um, so I got those. Another thing we could talk about is Mike's uh, Rockville RF ones. If he wants to talk about those, yeah, the RF ones. Um, they're super convenient. They're really lightweight. I've got ten of them all in a Rockville bag. I don't know if you if you check out my YouTube channel, you'll see I did a review on those packs when I got them. I got a steal for a price. 
They are a single diode, twelve watt light, and uh, I'm going to use them this weekend. You know, at an event that I have. Um, however, I'm in talks with Rockville right now, trying to figure out if we can somehow sync them up to the RF1, the Best Part 50s, or the Best Part 60s, because they are all Rockville Wireless DMX, and we couldn't get them to pair up. So there's that, and you know, if that doesn't happen, then I think I'm going to I'm upgrade to Rock Wedges, which is a quality light. Now I've got Buddy. I don't know if you would be interested in. I've got four of the um, best part sixties. I'm getting rid of. Work perfect. Nothing wrong with them. They actually, I were my very first battery powered up light. Now that I'm getting these kind of six by eighteens, I want everything to be uh, look the same. Even though this is sheds, I guarantee when the both lighting lights come in, they'll look identical to this because I'm pretty sure. There's one person that makes these, and these other companies buy these and put their names on them. Which this doesn't even have a shed on it. So, if you know anybody that's looking for some Rock Wed or Rockville Best Part Sixties, um, I've got a pretty good deal on four of them. If anybody wants. Some. Oh, cool. Well, again, so out there wants some Rockville what uh, some Part Sixties. DJ Fire's got a hook, got a hook up for you. I can buy some. And these, are, these are what they look like, but this is the white picture of them. Come on, flip over. But I have the black ones, so that's what they look like. And then they've got right, show the back. Yep. So you've got battery power to turn on to charge it, all that good stuff. I've got a really good deal. <coughs> I'm just you know, and if they don't sell, I'll keep them. But um. Another thing I wouldn't mind touching on before we go is, buddy, do you use fog or haze at any of your events? Nope. 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 No, no fog, no haze, and no uh, no sparklers. They don't allow that up there? It's not the, a lot of venues don't. A lot of venues don't want it. A lot of venues don't want to deal with it. Uh, sparklers, they look nice and stuff like that, but it, it, it's a lot of cleaning up. And a lot of places, even though you can do fire watch and have the fire alarm pulled and, you know, you can talk to the local fire department and tell them what you're doing. A lot of venues don't want to deal with it. They just have a blanket policy because they've had bad DJs going into places and fog the place up and your staff alarms or cause panic or whatever it is. So they don't want it. They, they just, they don't want it. You know, a private club or something like that. Yeah, they... They don't care, but a most of the most of the venues, yeah, they don't. Uh, CO two cannons too, you know, that's another thing that people, you know, I know Matt uh, uses CO two cannons. Um, doesn't excite me. So, buddy, you know? you, you don't offer like water on the clouds or anything like that. No, no, I okay. I know a guy. I know guys who do, and you know that it's great for them. I, I don't. I, I just. I don't. Well, I, I also know you're not really running is... like the, you're not really running dance lighting anymore. But like when you have fog, your dance lighting is just hitting. I mean, it. it I, oh, I know. There. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know. It's just it. It's it's a game changer, you know. It, in the venues that you can use it in. And that's the thing. In a lot of venues. You know. like the hotels and the country clubs, you can't really use it, but oh, there's a lot of John other Jazz, that we can. John Jazz, Mr. Jazz uh, of uh, Baltimore, um, which is a friend of mine, he uh, is asking, on the lights for sale, do they have UV? Yes, they do. There you go, Mr. Jazz. They do have UV. They are hex colored. They have red, green, blue, white, amber, and UV. They're hex and then they have a bunch of color mixings that even gives you more colors. So it's more than just hex because it's got a bunch of color mixings in it too. Well, those best part sixties are nine by eighteen. Nine. Hold on, let me look. I think they're nine by eighteen. Let me look. It's nine I was just on it. I was just on it. Hold on, let me go back to it. They are. Hold on, I'm trying to find it in the city. 
So I'll probably gonna have to look on their website because their eBay page does not have it on here. So look at features. Okay, so light source is nine LEDs. They're six watts, six watts each. So six times nine. Fifty-four. Yeah, fifty-four watts. They have They're the same as the rock wedges. Six and ten panel DMX. You have red, green, blue, white, amber, ultraviolet, UV. And it's this color mixing. It is, each one is 6,500 lumens. They have the remote control, which I have some here somewhere. The built in battery is 13,200 milliamps. So it's got a really big battery. I'm hearing some feedback from someone. Yeah, I don't know what. It must be mine because it's not. He must have a speaker phone on. No, but I am standing by my dryer. Uh, but no, I'm not. Your dryer is speaker. speaker in it. That's weird. But um, yeah, it, it's it, it's one of the things that uh, those lights are for sale. Nathan does have them for sale. They do have UV. So if you are interested, uh, Mr. Jazz, I can very easily give you uh, Nathan's information offline and you can contact him directly and talk to him about purchasing, shipping, and so forth and so on. Yeah, we could, I'll definitely ship them. I have uh, I have Mr. Jazz's uh, phone number. I can uh, give him your phone number and then you guys can do whatever you guys want to do, talk and swap. There. Them. They're in perfect condition. There ain't nothing wrong with them. They're just sitting in the road case, the one that Mike's getting. But I yeah, just, you, it, you, and you keep getting new lights to to try out and stuff like that. So it's like you don't need to really they, buy stuff because here, here's lights. Here, try these lights. Try these lights. Try these lights. Well, like that's let's kind well, of that's not true. Right? We just bought lights today. Why are you buying Do lights? What? For? what did you say, Mike? I said, that, well, we, I mean, we buy lights all the time. It just depends. You know what I mean? Some lights are given to us, but they're not necessarily lights that we want to keep, you know? Right. I mean, if if the best part 60s were a little bit, you know, cheaper and maybe were a little bit smaller, compact and, you know, looked a little like, you know, these then I might get more, but these kind of these wasn't out whenever the Best Part Sixties came out. So I, the Best Part Sixties release, and I was like, "Hey, those are pretty cool." You know, I was like, "I could trust mount them if I want to. I can use them for uplighting." And we used them actually on the back wall at that uh, Our Memory Lane for Mike's uh, Sweet Sixteen video, and they look great on that back wall. And I used, I think I got three or four events out of one full charge out on those. I got several gigs on those without having to charge them. Well, cool. And that's the thing. The battery, good about them, a lot of the batteries last a while. That's the key thing. But we're going to wrap it up here with DJ Roundtable. And again, guys, I can't thank you enough. DJ Mike James. Nathan, DJ Fire. What do you think for me? Thank you both guys for What's coming up? here tonight and spending some time with us. Um, too, too bad some other people couldn't have came in. I sent I, I I sent out uh, links. Nine links went out. Who uh, if if I have quality I don't know if you guys can quality quality audiences, you know. I I would love to have some people live like do like a deal on my um, Nathan three four three channel if you guys would want to come in and and do like a little podcast or something on there. I always do that as well. So again, if you have not done so already, again you're following us on watching us on YouTube. DJ Fire, Nathan three four three channel, DJ Mike James. You want me to post yes. links, buddy? Lots of gig uh, logs coming up, up. Lots of product reviews, man. Business is growing. Like hey, another interesting in thing. I may be DJing for the university here in town, so I'll post some gig logs about that, man. DJ Mike James, man, business is growing. There you go. Again, Mike, thank you so much. 
Nathan, thank you so much. And thank you guys for all tuning in. Again, this is the DJ Roundtable Show. Again, you're going to see the repeat here on YouTube. You're watching on YouTube and watch us live. Go to Twitch. Follow us on Twitch. TBM Productions underscore buddy on Twitch. If you're on Twitch, you want to watch this repeat on uh, YouTube. It's TBM Productions uh, underscore. Um, I'm sorry. TBM Productions DJ1 is in that area there. And if we you were want on it. <laughs> That's well, cool. Thank you for having me. Yeah, uh, I enjoy talking to you. I enjoy picking your brain and learning from your experience, man. I, I appreciate you having me on. Well, I appreciate you guys all for that. So there's there right there is the name to look for on YouTube. Uh, without going to YouTube and opening it up and and co and copying the link for that, but that is the. Uh, when I'm on YouTube as TBM Productions DJ One, so you can go there, and um, I will have links in. When you go to our channel there, I will have links on my channel to Nathan and to uh, Mike James. So, Nathan, thank you very much. Mike already left, so hold on one second. Again, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for having me, and you're a great mentor. Keep up the good work, buddy. Well, no, thank you, sir. You have a good day, 